Hello everybody. It is uh, Friday the 17th, I think it is today, um, of July. And uh, the schools close today. Well, the schools in Worcestershire closes today. And uh, the long summer, long summer holiday starts. So um, we are going on holiday in about a week's time. Um, and today is a giant tidy up day. I'm going to get rid of all of the broad beans today. Pick what's there, which is not very much. As I said before, I'm fairly disappointed in them. So, but I'll pick what's there, uh, take out all the plants, put them on the compost, um, get rid of the bolted beetroot, uh, put that on the compost, um, and just generally tidy up a little bit. Um, I bought a new packet of seeds, uh, bean seeds. Um, Oh, and for the life of me, I've now forgotten what they are. Um, but it, it says it can still be planted direct sown in July. So I've, I've bought some of those and I'm just going to sow two beans per cane, water them well, and hopefully they'll come up and look after themselves while I'm away in France. So, um, so yeah, so first, first job of the day is uh, bed five. As I said, harvest all the beans, um, take out all the plants, that's now gone over the beans, the beetroot, um, to be honest, the spinach is the new ones I put in has wilted as well. So I'm just going to lift them as well. So the only thing that'll be left in here still are the peas over there and the few sweet corns at the end. Um, I'll have a think, maybe I can put something else in here, but for now, the main objective of today is just to tidy up as much as possible do some weeding and just get everything ready for uh, minimal fuss when the neighbours have said that they'll water for me. So um, I'll uh, update you on progress as I go along today. So, um, I've just picked all of the one variety, and for the life of me, I just can't remember what they were called again. Um, I might have to put a note in the footer. Um, there are still a couple of plants, four plants, which has got a whole bunch of small beans on them. So, I have not pulled them up. I will give them another... Well, they've basically got five days. They've got five days to... Uh, to fill out, um, but they will be going before I go to France, so uh, they can have another few days. So I will get on and do the other variety, which I think is the pink variety, whichever one that was. So um, I'll put that in a separate bag.
so there we go that's the few plants that I've left um, that's the one variety I'll weigh it and uh, put a note up as to what variety it was and how much I got not much as you can see although this variety which I think is the pink one has done better so uh, and lots of good stuff for the compost so uh, I'll see what the next job is oh, so next up is um, the rogue potatoes let's see how they got on Not too bad, considering I wasn't expecting them to even grow in the first place. And as I said before, I never actually watered them. I never topped them up. I stuck them in the pots originally and left them. So not a very scientific experiment, but at least there are five little potatoes. So I'll do the other pot as well and show you when I'm done. My theory is, if you have rogue potatoes, this will be my conclusion, um, if you have rogue potatoes that come up in the middle of your beds, you can lift them up, put them in some pots, um, maybe add a little bit of fertilizer or plant food or something, and um, if you look after them, i.e. water them, top them up, and generally give them a little bit of TLC, you will get a potato crop of it. Um, I mean, that's what I got. It's not brilliant, but then as I said, I didn't look after them. I didn't do anything to them. Um, in fact, I didn't even go as far as to water them, as I said. So uh, um, I think if I had looked after them, I would have had a decent crop from the, that was five buckets with about, eight inches of soil in them so not very much there is one there that's still growing um, it's obviously a different variety so um, it's only just flowered so um, I will leave that one a bit longer and maybe I'll just give it a bit of water you can see it's a bit wilted at the moment so I'll give it some water now um, but yeah that's that's the result from the five pots with hardly any soil in it so um not bad in my opinion so um, now we'll know that rogue potatoes can grow and can produce stuff after being transplanted in a different spot so there we go on to the next job Okay, so 
so the last job I've got time for today before having to go and pick up the children is to quickly stick the beans in the ground so as you can see I uh, got some beans and as I said before I can't remember what they were called so um, I've just watered this area really well I'll weed as I come this way I've weeded over there um, and I will just stick two per cane in the ground um, and water them again when I when I'm done and uh, hopefully they will germinate and start filling in this little space that I have left over because the other beans didn't germinate so let's hope we've got better luck with these ones Okay, so that's all done. Uh, there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 canes. Uh, two beans per cane. That gives us 32. And I think there was four or five left, so I just stuck them in the middle. See if they come up. Use them as spares if they do. So um, at least there's some new beans planted. Anybody's guess whether they're actually going to come up or not. So uh, I think... That's it for me for today. I will be back here again tomorrow morning, making the most of the few days I've got left over. So uh, until tomorrow, have a good rest of the day. Hello everybody. Quick little update um, as Ryan is here to help me today. Um, his job that I've just given him while I'm harvesting the Swiss chard is to pinch out the suckers on the tomato plants. Um, so Ryan, why don't you explain to us how you know what a sucker is? Because it, if you look in between the stem and the plant, if you see a thin little plant, it looks like a new little plant, doesn't it? Growing in the, sort of in the armpit of the stem, of the branch, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, and what do you need to do then? You just need to go to the side of it and pick it out carefully. You don't want to pick out the branch. That's right, okay. And why do we do it? Because it will make a lot of some other stems that will just produce more... More fruit. We want a strong, healthy main stem and not hundreds of little stems. Nah. Yeah. Okay then. Okay, well you keep going. I'll go and do the Swiss chard quickly. Okay? Okay. So if we walk over here quickly... Oops, a daisy. Nearly fell over my stones. Um, as I said, I haven't got very much time before we go on holiday in the next couple of days. Um, so I am going to harvest this back quite hard. There's a few that's bolted. You can see one right there. Um, and I've also pulled two out already that's bolted. So um, I will cut the other ones back hard and uh, pull the bolted ones up. Um, and <laughs> also that lettuce over there that looks like it's turning into a tree. So um, I'll do that now and then uh, I'll show you the basket when it's done. One big basket of Swiss chard, uh, rainbow chard. Um, this will be the third basket of chard like that that I've picked. Um, I've frozen most of it, blanched and frozen it um, in sort of two big handful portion sizes. So. Um, and then that's what I've left the bed as. I've cut it back, leaving a few little leaves. The ones that have bolted, I've uh, taken up and Ryan's just gone to go and put them in the compost for us. So uh, that's what I've left it with. So, um, uh, yeah, so let's hope they survive until we get back. 
Well, that's it, everybody. I had planned to do so many more things um, in this episode and getting ready for going away, but uh, the weather has not been with me. Um, it's been tipping it down for the last two days and uh, today is Saturday the 25th and we're actually leaving for France. So uh, I've just come up here to quickly tidy away a few things and uh, stick a last few things in the ground which I won't show you now, I'll show you in the next update. Um, it's just the stuff I still had growing in pots. So um, it's raining at the moment, I'm trying to shelter in the shed, um, but uh, yeah, needs to be done. So. Um, so I just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Um, I've just gone over the 300 mark and uh, it still amazes me every day that there are people that want to listen to what I've got to say and uh, see my antics on the allotment. So uh, needless to say, my husband is flabbergasted by the whole idea that uh, so many people want to watch me do the stuff I do. So uh, uh, thank you once again. I love chatting to you all. I love the community that we've got going so um thank you for everybody and uh, i'm going to sign off now i'm going to be in france for four weeks um fixing up the house wallpapering painting hacking back the garden uh it won't be a holiday holiday it'll be a working holiday so i'll be away for four weeks so there won't be any videos um and then i will see you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at the end of August. So uh, have a lovely summer when it arrives one day. Doesn't look like it right now. So um, have a lovely summer and uh, I'll see you at the end of August.